Hello, this is Eric at Prince George Ford, and we're taking a look at the 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning in an XLT trim, and powered by a dual e-motor standard range battery, providing you with around 452 horsepower, I believe, to all four wheels, giving you all-wheel drive capabilities, and coming with running boards down below. Looking at the tailgate, which opens with the press of a button, and then on the opposite side, you have a rugged work surface, as well as having your Pro Power on board, so you can plug in your tools and equipment. And the tailgate goes back up with the press of a button as well. Then looking at the front where you have your mega power front giving you a ton of extra cargo room with a little bit more underneath here. And to the side you have more outlets with a USB and USB-C. Again you can power your tools, equipment, even your house in case of an outage. And this closes again with the press of a button. Moving around to the side you do have your charging port behind the badge plate here. Looking into the back seat, you have comfortable seating for three that can be lifted up and out of the way to accommodate any other cargo. And then in the middle, you have two cup holders with a 12 volt USB and USB C and 120 volt power outlet. And looking in the front, you have your power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, as well as a fully power adjustable driver's seat and power adjustable pedals. Now sitting in the truck with it running and looking at the steering wheel on the right hand side, you have your controls for your center info screen where you can cycle through your trip information, truck information, towing information, navigation, phone, and audio controls, as well as settings for your screen and some other features around your vehicle, including my view, which is a sort of favorite screen for any of those subcategories for ease of access. Then moving on to the left, we have your cruise controls with distance pacing technology, lane keeping system, and your hands-free phone and radio controls along the bottom. And moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is radio, Sirius, and Bluetooth capable. You have your Bluetooth phone controls, navigation so you hopefully won't get lost, favorite screen for all of your most used apps and settings, whatever apps you may have installed, and settings for your screen and some other features around your vehicle. Then you've got your general truck features such as your drive modes. You have uh, normal, sport, off-road, and tow haul, as well as one pedal drive. So if your foot's not on the accelerator, your vehicle is braking and slowing down, as well as having a locking differential. Uh, you have your driver assistance features and settings, access settings, pro power on board, zone lighting, towing, trip energy, departure and comfort, charge settings, and owner's manual. Then shifting into reverse, you have a backup camera with a full 360 view so you can see all around your truck. And above that, you have your alternate view with your forward facing camera, park assist sensor shut off, hazards and traction control shut off. Moving down, you have your media controls and then your climate controls with dual zone front climate, heated front seats, and a heated steering wheel. To the right, you have a 12 volt and 120 volt power outlet. And then further down, you have this bin with a USB and USB C. Then you've got your main shifter, which can be collapsed out of the way for more open space and so that you can unfold your interior work surface. So if you want to eat in your truck, work in your truck, you have a nice flat surface to do so from. And then you've got two cup holders and your lockable center compartment slash armrest with a removable tray, ton of room inside, including another USB and USB-C. But that should cover our look at the interior. So now if you're interested, come visit us at Prince George Ford, pgford.ca, or call 250-563-8111 and have a nice day.